Hey guys, welcome back to this next video uh, in our Power Query Editor series. Today we're going to be showing you how to uh, promote the header, the first row, into your header, or use the first row as a header. Uh, in some instances, like the one we have here, you can see that uh, it doesn't read the first row as the header of the table or the query, as uh, we call tables in Power in the Power Query Editor. So if we want to fix this and we want the header names to appear in this header row, which has uh, these special functionalities like filtering and sorting and stuff, what we have to do is very simple. We just have to go into the home tab and then we hit this button which says use first row as header. So there's two options. I'll show you, the I'll show you use first row as header initially. So when we click that, what happens is it promotes that first row, which, uh, does contain the uh, the header uh, items but was not being read as such by the power query editor but now that's been moved up one slot from uh, the first row of actual data to now the header data so that's how it works and alternatively if for some purpose you don't want header rows to be specifically uh, mentioned in the in the header setting you can bring them back down to the first row of data using this use headers as first row functionality so that drops them back down to the first row of data and there's many use cases such as when you're doing csvs and stuff it makes it much uh, less complicated if your headers are just in the data itself so that's where these uh, functionalities come into play and that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next video.